Rini Mehta's book Unruly Cinema History Politics and Bollywood stands as one of the most comprehensive accounts of the origins and expansion of Indian Hindi cinema contextualizing it within the colonial post colonial and emergency periods as well as the influence of neoliberal states all supported by extensive secondary data the narrative reveals how indian commercial cinema has historically thrived by resisting control and homogenization in the face of an ambivalent and sometimes adversarial government and an ever evolving audience the book is structured into four chapters each dissecting distinct moments in the history of indian cinema through a meticulous analysis of four historical periods the book offers a systematic analysis of why bollywood's current popularity can be attributed to its unruliness in the opening chapter metha offers an intricate exploration of the captive consumer model prevalent in the early western cinema she traces the roots of cinematic technology from the invention of the magic lantern a device projecting still images onto a screen to the ingenious business strategies of lumia brothers the chapter then delves into trade art and origins drawing upon someswar bomics insights regarding the role of lower stratum capitalists in fostering the growth of early indian cinema Mehta critiques the concept of sudeshi cinema highlighting how it was often wielded as a marketing tool rather than a genuine expression of indian identity she also underscores the intersectionality of caste and class during the early stages of the film industry examines the shifts following the introduction of talkies and explores the language debate the final section of the chapter from studios to stars provides a wealth of information on the transformations in film production during the colonial era the second chapter shadow nationalism cinema and nehruian state of culture explores the crisis faced by the hindi film industry due to government intervention during the post colonial period despite its crucial role in shaping the national imagination Mehta discusses how melodrama effectively perpetuated nationalism and how Hindi cinema of the 1950s was co-opted as an ideological state apparatus. The Indian government exerted control through certification and taxation by replacing the British Indian Cinematograph Act of 1918 with its own version in 1952 as well as by instituting the National Film Awards and National Film Festivals in 1954. Concurrently, European films influenced a reformist realism social genre within this framework cinema became an integral part of the nation building project raj kapoor's avara cycle of films played a pivotal role in shaping the language of cinematic nationalism leading to the emergence of the star system and melodramatic films meta employs benedict anderson's concept of nation as an imagined community to explore the act of film reviewing by the audience during the period the third chapter delves into the post nehruian era under indira gandhi's leadership during which the government encouraged the production of art films while mainstream cinema underwent a significant shift the 1960s and 1970s witnessed the decline of the nationalist social genre and the ascent of the action genre prominently featuring amitabh bachchan as the angry young man This marked the genre that revitalized popular Bollywood cinema, offering a counter-discourse against both the state's hegemony and the dominance of new cinema. Mehta refers to this transformation as the unruly turn, a phase where the established cinema versus state dynamic was manipulated. While the Indian art cinema movement of the 1960s and the 1970s reinvigorated the medium, Mainstream Hindi cinema in Bombay shifted the national imaginary to focus on physical violence and cathartic retribution using the urban poor as a symbolic bridge to national success. The chapter discusses the perception of modern as synonymous with development although the concept of modern is not extensively theorized here. The fourth chapter delves into India's engagement with globalization in 1990 to 91. 
marked by the country's necessity to deregulate its markets to fulfill the terms of a significant world bank loan this era was characterized by pro capitalist economic rhetoric the rise of political hindu nationalism and a caste based electoral polity in the late 1980s and early 1990s a new generation of actors such as shahrukh khan and amir khan portrayed youth who no longer accepted the compromises of the nationalist social genre or the vengeful dreams of the action genre during this period bollywood gained international recognition with hollywood studios beginning to invest in bollywood however the reader gains limited insight into how these changes manifested in the content of bollywood cinema aside from the influence on characters as attire which was evident in films portraying women within the context of pro capitalist liberal modernity simultaneously bollywood witnessed the ascent of what metha terms the nationalist trifecta nation diaspora and enemies the final chapter serves as the epilogue of the book offering an overview of the contemporary and future developments in bollywood cinema it highlights shifts in film content attributed to international exposure and collaboration and discusses the adoption of new technologies including online digital film viewing platforms